Welcome back. Now the very first job we are going to do is we are first going to fulfill our challenge of making the arms that is the hands. So for this again we are going to make use of the cones. I will press shift plus A and I am pressing shift plus A I am going to add a cone and in the cone let us leave the number of vertices to 32 but only thing we want to change is radius 1 let us make it 0 0.2 and radius 2 let us make it 0 0.1 ok so after this the length 0 0.8 let it be little long so this we are going to use it as the arm now in the position I am going to move it along the x and I am also going to move it along the z axis like this so I will move it along y let us keep it 0 along the y axis let us rotate it like this or even if required let us make it z position at 1.4. Now, I will select this arm and I will come over to the material and I am going to give it the yellow material. And as usual, now what has happened this, this cone has got lost somewhere here. I think uh, it has gone into Lex, yes, see Lex 001. Inside this, the cone is there. I will drag it and put it into the scene collection. So, whichever the last collection you will be working, the model that you create will go into that collection. So, remember that or else we have to sit and search here, it will be difficult. So, right now it had gone into this leg 001 collection, I will close it, I brought it out, I will just double click it and I am going to name this as shoulder. After this, I am going to now come over to the screen here, select this, press shift plus D, I will duplicate it and then I will press R and along the y axis I will rotate it somewhere like this, then press G and place it over here. So, let us see how it is appearing from the top view, press numpad 7 and see from the top, ok this is fine, I will press numpad 1 again and I will come to the front view and if required select the top uh, hand and then press R and then press uh, Y and slightly rotate it a little more like this and then this hand press G and move it a little bit like this. So, we have created two parts of this hand and let us name this shoulder 001 as actually hand. This naming convention is very important so that you will not get confused when there are too many objects in the scene. I will uh, select the second cone here itself, press shift D and then duplicate it and I will right click and cancel the movement so that the duplicated cone is sitting exactly over the previous cone. I will press G and drag it a little. See when I am moving it, if I press X and if I wish to move it, if I press Z and wish, if I wish to move it. See this is moving in an axis which is not to the axis of the backside hand. Here I will just introduce you to a new concept which we are going to discuss in detail in our next session. I will just right click and cancel my movement and on the top in the menu over here you have one axis menu here which is right now global. If I click on this, you have one more option here called as local. I will show you the difference. In global, if I press G and if I move it along the X, see the direction it is moving. If I press Z, see the direction it is moving. I will right click and cancel it. Now, if I change this to local, see now what happens is, the x, y and z origins are local to this particular object. So, now if I press g and x, you can see the axis has shifted to the axis of the object. Can you see? It is now moving to this rotated angle of this cone. I will right click it. If I press g and z, See, it moves exactly in the same axis as this hand. So, I will slightly move it down, then I will press yes scale and then along the z axis, I will scale it down a little like this. So, that it is scaled to around 0 0.3 
and you can see the orientation is local here. Then I will press G and Z and move it down a little. I will again press X and overall I will scale it a little like this. So the overall cone I will scale it like this so that it just fits into the hand like this. And then again I will press S and Z and scale down only the X axis a little more like this. Okay. So I have now created this third part and I am going to name this say for example fingers. Okay. So now for this fingers I am going to give a material black. So we created if required select this fingers press G and Z and move it a slight down. So now in the scene selection I will right click and create a new collection and I am going to call this new collection as arms and I will press enter. I will select shoulder, press control and select hand, press control and select finger. So I select all these three, drag into this collection called arms and then I will select this arms collection, right click and I will duplicate this entire collection. Then I will right click and click on select objects and now I will come back to the global now. I will come back to global and, and then I will select this and I will press G and along the X axis I will move it over here and after this I will press rotate and along the Y axis I will type Y and then I will rotate it by 180 degree and press enter. Then G press Z and slightly move it to the top like this. Go to file, choose save as and here name this as 3 minions and underscore with hands and then click save here. So this completes our challenge and let us continue with the edit mode of working from our next session. Thank you.